question 5 from test 7 on compound angle formulas. Please copy this question, answer it and then look into my solution. Okay. Here is my solution. Question 5. If alpha and beta are acute angles in quadrant 1 with sine alpha equals to 4 over 5 and cos beta equals to 5 over 13, determine the values of tan alpha plus beta. Okay, so what we should do here is that we know that alpha and beta both are in quadrant 1, right? Both are in quadrant 1. And as you know, in quadrant 1, all trigonometric ratios are positive, right? So cos proof, all are positive, correct? Now, we have two triangles. We are dealing with two triangles here. One is alpha. Let's make those two triangles, right? So let's say this is our triangle 1. And then that is our triangle 2. Correct. Now, so this is alpha. So alpha sine is 4 over 5. That means this side is 4 and this is 5. You can find this side, 5 square minus 4 square square root, and you'll get 3. Correct. Now for cos beta, which is this angle, opposite is 13. Sorry, opposite is is 5 over 13, so opposite is 5. Oh, this is cos, okay, sorry. So cos beta, adjacent is 5, so we get 5 here and 13 here, correct? You can always find the third side, that's the right triangle. So this is 13 square minus 5 square square root, correct? So use your calculator to find 13 square minus 5 square square root, so we get 13 square minus 5 square equals to 144 and square root is 12. So we get this side as 12. Okay. So once you get all the sides, then just write down what are each value, right? Now, so you know sine alpha equals to 4 over 5. And in tan alpha plus beta, you basically need tan, right? So we get tan alpha is equals to how much? So tan alpha is 4 over 3, right? 4 over 3. How about tan beta? So tan beta is equals to 12 over 5. 12 over 5, correct? Right? All are positive since they all are in quadrant 1. And what is tan of alpha plus beta? You know your compound angle formula. You can write that. So it's tan alpha plus tan beta over 1 minus tan alpha tan beta, correct? Now you can plug these values and get the answer. That is 4 over 3 plus 12 over 5 divided by 1 minus 4 over 3 times 12 over 5, correct? And then you'll get your result. Just solve this and get your answer. So that's how you're going to do it. Thank you.